My name is Loide Rosa George, and I am a child of the diaspora. My mother is from Mozambique, which is located in the southeast part of the continent of Africa. And my father is from Guinea-Bissau, which is West Africa. My name is Hassan Conte. I'm from Senegal, West Africa. I'm a child of the diaspora. My name is uh, Mamadou Samba, and I am a child of the African diaspora. Mamadou Samba is the director of the Washington, D.C. Mayor's Office on African Affairs. He says the office's mission is to welcome, help integrate, and assist the city's growing African diaspora. My first job was actually in the Office of African Affairs, which is where I'm now the director. The Office of African Affairs is essentially here to make sure that the district African population, which is one of the largest, the largest growing African population in the United States, is aware of and have access to all services that the district provides. Essentially, our job is to serve as liaison between the African community and the district government. The African Liaison Unit, a part of the D.C. Police Department, works with immigrants to ease and address their public safety concerns. He says most concerns result from language barriers, cultural differences, and a general fear of law enforcement. The D.C. African Affairs Office also distributes grants and funds to many African community-based organizations, small businesses, and individuals in the region. It is very proud of the recently launched ECHO, the African Diaspora Coding Academy. The project provides web and mobile application training to Africans and others in the Washington area. In the Office of African Affairs, we took some time to look at what kind of program exists in D.C. government that the African community can benefit from. And one of those programs is ECHO. ECHO is Yoruba for Learning, which is the code name for the African Diaspora Coding Academy. The goal is to train African residents in D.C. on how to develop mobile applications, on web development, HTML, you know, coding, and IT training. And through this program, it is just a way for them to access additional training, additional resources, and earn the skills to, in turn, uh, study on companies and eventually get good paying jobs. The African Affairs Office has launched helps sponsor and organizes several events of growing importance in the nation's capital each year. The Young African Connection Summit, in partnership with Washington, D.C.'s Howard University, one of the finest historically black institutions for higher learning, and President Barack Obama's Mandela Washington Fellowship, promotes volunteerism, encourages community development and networking, and discussion aimed at finding solutions to problems facing African diaspora communities and the continent. And each year, with pride, the African Affairs Office organizes the Mandela Day of Service in Washington, a community service event commemorating the legacy of former South African President and Nobel Peace Prize winner Nelson Mandela. Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.